Hi everyone, Renee here. Welcome back to my channel, or just welcome. So a lot of you have been asking me what makeup do I use to get that sort of lit from within glowy skin look. So I'm just gonna show you what I do every day. This is not a tutorial because I don't know what I'm doing. So this is my go-to everyday summer makeup. What's really important to me during the summer, particularly where makeup is concerned, is that everything is really lightweight. It's all about that healthy summer vacation looking skin that's glowing and warmth. There's warmth to it rather than my usual sickly pallor. My makeup routine, particularly in the summer, will always start off with sunscreen. The sunscreens I like to use tend to be amazing primers as well. In fact, now there are a lot of makeup primers that are sunscreens. I personally love that natural sheen and luminous finish that a lot of sunscreens leave on your skin, although I know some of you must hate it, particularly if you have oily skin or if you live in places with 90% humidity summers. But for me, I feel like it's just a bonus as a kind of almost radiant base. Just always remember that when applying sunscreen, you always want to have some wait time between your last step moisturizer and applying this and also before you apply your makeup over this because you do not want to dilute in any way the strength of the UV filters. But there are also sunscreens out there that are really good for oil control. In fact, guys, I'm just going to have so many sunscreen videos for you coming up, so stay tuned. So during this time, I always tend to go for very, very light bases that just make your skin look really fresh and even out the skin tone slightly. I don't really like high coverage. I'd rather use concealer to spot cover the places that just are bad. It's gonna be all about the tinted moisturizers, the light coverage, CC creams, BB creams. And I usually just focus on the center of my face because that's where most of the discoloration is. I prefer to apply my Burberry Fresh Glow with my fingers. I feel it applies a lot better. This is definitely one of my all-time favorite lightweight bases. It's glowy, it's barely there, looks like your own skin. It's lightweight coverage, but I feel like it evens things out enough for me. When I apply concealer, I always apply it from my hand using my ring finger for under my eyes and then any other finger to conceal spots. I don't want to contaminate the doe foot by putting this straight on my pimples and then maybe putting it on other areas of my face to conceal. That sounds like such a bad idea. If I feel my bags are particularly bad, then I might just put a few dots right around where the shadow of the bags might be. I'm using Maybelline's Eye Studio Eyebrow Define and Fill in deep brown. I'm only using the fill part of this. It keeps it looking really natural. This is pretty much foolproof. And I use Shu Umura's eyebrow manicure to keep everything in place. And this stuff lasts all day, which is really important in summer weather. Hourglass's Ambient Lighting Bronzer is my favorite. This is everything. It gives the most flattering warmth and subtle luminosity to the skin. So I pretty much apply this everywhere where I feel the sun will hit my face and anywhere I need it. This completely warms up my complexion. I love a shimmering eyeshadow stick, particularly in the summer. This is Clio's Super Smooth Waterproof Gel Shadow Stick. This glides on your lids. Beer Pong is a champagne color that looks kind of nude on my lids, but just imparts this beautiful, glistening, wet sheen. I also place it in the inner corner of my eyes to open them up. I love Burberry's Coal Eyeliner in Storm Gray for tight lining the upper eyelid. This is a nice gray-brown color that is not as harsh as black, so it's a lot more natural looking. And this is long-lasting on me. I like a good eyelash primer and this Dr. Mascara Fixer really makes a difference. This adds length, curl, and it will stay curled all day. Because this is such a bare-faced look, I really need my lashes to show up. This unconventional stretchy paper pusher mascara really lengthens the lashes. This is a little tricky to apply. It takes some getting used to, but when you get it, it can be really dramatic. 
The, over the mascara, I'm applying a finishing and protective coat of the Dr. Fixer Primer. This will waterproof, smudge proof, and weatherproof my lashes through the most humid day. And now to finish the face with a pop of color. This gorgeous blush from Kevin O'Quan is like a summer sunset on your cheeks. Oh, and I never use finishing powder, but I feel this still blends out beautifully. And I always use a shimmery gloss. And now for my final step, which I call the glow maker. Everything in my skincare is all to attain the glow. So I don't use highlighters, I don't strobe, I don't non-tour. I rely 90% on skincare to achieve um, radiance. And you'll know that I've always used facial mists for that final step glow. My newest facial mist obsession is this one from Pharmacy. This is actually the second bottle because my first bottle was taken over by my sister. So there are a few things that I absolutely love about this mist, but above and beyond all else, I just love the way it feels on my skin. So the first thing you're gonna notice with this is how utterly refreshing it is. It is immediately cooling. I'm pretty sure that the peppermint oil has something to do with that. I think if you are suffering from extremely sensitive or compromised skin, then peppermint oil might irritate you. For me, it's just that very invigorating cooling effect. This is the first facial mist with cooling properties that hasn't stung my skin or made me feel like I was being maced. There's no alcohol in here or artificial coloring. This green color is all natural. So this brand pharmacy basically merges farm-grown botanicals with modern skincare science. This is so perfect in the mornings after you cleanse your face, you spritz it and it just wakes your skin up. It's really invigorating. When you use this as a setting spray over your makeup or when you're using it throughout the day, it imparts this glow that is like not quitting. It totally gives me that natural strobing effect. After using this, you don't feel it on your skin at all. This is chock full of natural polymers that act as natural humectants, which just keep your skin all plump and moisturized without any of the oiliness or greasiness and other ingredients including vitamin C and minerals that really help to protect your skin barrier against the damaging effects of the environment, pollution, stuff like that. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed my summer everyday go-to glow look. I would love to know what your staples are during the summer, whether it's makeup or skincare, just let me know. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching. I'm wishing you great skin health and until next time, bye.